So uh, basically, the way we do it is that um, first thing that you can notice is that in fact all the variables that appear uh, in the social planner's problem Uh, they can be expressed as a function of data, the tightness, and UI, the policy. That's, a, that's what you can notice, you know, through substitution and through the use of the constraints. So, therefore, it means that uh, the social welfare, which we've introduced there, can also be expressed. as a function of uh, data and UI. Okay, and so then uh, what that means is that you can rewrite the social planner's problem as follows. So the social planner, we can just write it as a maximization over UI. So we want to find the best UI generosity of social welfare, which is a function of theta. But theta, of course, as we said, you know, the government has to take into account that theta eventually in equilibrium is also a function of UI and UI. So UI basically affects welfare directly and also <coughs> through, uh, through data. So that's the key thing. So basically, the policy affects welfare because it affects you know, how well you insure workers. And in addition, the policy affects tightness, the key kind of variable that describes the state of the labor market. And, and the state of the labor market also affects welfare because it determines the level of unemployment and so on and so forth. Okay, so then uh, we want to maximize uh, this and you know this social welfare function, if it's well behaved, it's going to be concave. And so the maximization can be described by a you know, uh, first order condition that's going to give the unique maximum. Uh, so you can take a first order condition, which means that you're going to take the derivative of the social welfare function and take it to zero. Okay, and that will give us the optimum, uh, the best policy. So optimal UI is going to be given by the, uh, the first order condition. So what is that first order condition? Well, it's the total derivative of social welfare with respect to UI has to be equal to zero. And uh, that means that given that social welfare can be written as a function of tightness and UI, it means that zero has to be equal to first the partial derivative of social welfare with respect to UI keeping theta constant plus the partial derivative of social welfare with respect to theta keeping ui constant times the derivative of theta with respect to ui okay which is standard kind of um, chain rule for functions of uh, for multivariate uh, multivariate functions <coughs> 